Good morning, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Boyce. I just found this article on End Times headlines. It says that virus found in air samples up to 13 feet from patients' traces found in Massachusetts wastewater at levels far higher than expected. I, this just came, it, it must have came out yesterday. But as I was reading this, I felt it was something that I should um, look at. It says, in a terrifying study examining air samples from hospital wards with COVID-19, reports are indicating that patients has found the virus can travel up to 13 feet, which is twice the distance current guidelines are warning people should leave between themselves in the in the public so the six feet thing is i guess is not in void i don't know isn't it doesn't work according to the report from yahoo the preliminary re, uh, results from of the investigation by chinese researchers were published friday in emerging infectious diseases a journal of the u.s centers for disease control and prevention this added to a growing debate, <clears throat> excuse me, on how the disease is transmitted. So everything that they're telling you to do is wrong because actually the six feet rule doesn't apply here anymore. It's now 13 feet. The added growing debate on how the disease is transmitted with the scientists themselves cautioning that a small quantity, that small that the small quantities of virus they found at this distance are not necessarily infectious. Meanwhile, the virus was recently detected in Massachusetts sewage at higher levels than expected, suggesting there are many more undiagnosed patients than previously known, according to a new study reported by the New York Post. The report went on to say that researchers from biotech startup Bio, uh, Biobot and Analytics collected samples from wastewater facility for an unnamed metropolitan area in late March. According to a Tuesday report on MedRx IV, Eric Alm, one of the authors of this study, which has not been uh, peer reviewed came out stressing that the public is not at risk of contracting the virus from particles in the wastewater, but they may have potential, may have the potential to indicate how widespread the virus has actually become. I'm going to leave this article in the description box because, um, so basically what they're saying is that this virus is worse than what they thought. That's basically what that article is saying right there. It's more widespread than what they thought. I had to come on and do this this morning because this was like, wow. So I'm going to leave the article in the description box and I'll be back on later. Uh, today is Resurrection Sunday. And no, you don't have to go to a brick and mortar building to celebrate the gospel of Jesus Christ. The church is inside of us, praise God. And we shall be gone soon. I don't know, and I'm, I'm feeling this today. I don't know whether he's going to open up everything like he plans on doing. I'm. This is just my analysis. This is just what I'm feeling. So... I could be wrong, but I still feel that something big is going to happen. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. There was a 5.3 earthquake yesterday in uh, California. Um, this this is come. It's becoming more like a police state. Excuse me. People are being dragged out of subways, being a uh, fine for not wearing mask. For not having masks, they're starting to track people who don't who have the virus inside their homes. I mean, it's becoming more and more like a police state. 
And I'm sorry to tell you this, but normal has gone, it's been thrown out the window. This is the new normal now, and it's going to get far worse. We're going to be gone. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like after the rapture. So I wanted to come on and tell you that this morning, but in the meantime, I'll be back on later. Thank you.